All right, I'm Nagdan Sari, and in this video, I'm going to show you how they did this. So, for example, you can see um, there is a cloth in here, okay? And when we move, it acts like a cloth, okay? So, let's just go into the game, and in here, you can see when we move, how it moves by itself, okay? <laughs> so, let me show you again, and you can see it's working like a cloth, right? So, let me show you how we can do that for whatever project that we have. So, without any further ado, let's begin. First of all, let's just go through all the options that Unreal Engine have for clothing, okay? Let's just run this content example in here. And first of all, it says that you need a skeletal mesh for you to have clothing, okay? So next, it creates a cloth that there is a wind blowing through it and it creates this animation, okay? And let me show the wind and you can see the wind is here. And if you want to add this wind to your project, you can just go to here and in here you can just search for wind, okay? And this is the wind directional source and you can add it to your project. And if you click on it in detail panel in here, you can change the strength, you can change the speed and all of this option that you can play with, okay? It's just for demonstration right now if you play or scene you can see there is a wind that blowing through this cloth with a strength of two and a speed of two okay so let's just change that first for us to see it to five for example and run our game again and now you can see it it blow through it faster and the speed is increased right so let's just change it back to two for the speed and now again run and in here it says that a skeletal mesh with a chaos cloth asset. So right now we know that we need a, a skeletal mesh to have this clothing effect. And after that, you can see in here, it give us some property. If you want it to be burlap, okay? You should put density to this value. You should uh, change the property for bend stiffness to this value, area stiffness to this value, and all of these values. If you want to have silk that is look like this, it needs density of this and all of these. And you can play with these variables. And I will show you where you can find these variables, right? After that, the rubber, you can see the effect of that when the wind blows through it, okay? And heavy leather, you can see it's not changing a lot with the wind, okay? So next thing, the physics and collision of these uh, clothes, okay? Right now, it's limited, so when your player is going through this stuff, it won't affect it, but if you have two objects in a skeletal mesh, you can see it works fine. And after that, it show you the another method to have this collision effect that when you collide with it, it looks like this, right? And it's just by setting the distance that it can move from the bone, okay? So I will show you all of them. Next is, let me see, self-collision. So you have two cloth in here and in the left one this self collision is off and they can go through each other we don't want that right and in the right one it won't go through each other and the self collision is on okay and next one is this character that you can see uh if i hit f8 okay and go closer let me decrease this camera speed and you can see there is a scarf in here that whenever we move it changes position like cloth okay so again let, let's head f8 go through and you can see it clearly right it's beautiful you can have it very easily in your game okay now that you know what unreal engine can do let's just add some cloth let's just first show you how you can add a cloth to unreal engine 5 and after that we will talk about these properties how you can change them okay and here for for me to show you how you can have cloth in your unreal engine 5 project let's just open up the blender and in here i want to create a project i don't want this cube and let's just add a plane in here make it a little bit bigger if you don't know how you can work with blender it's not as important it's just for showing you how you can export from blender and use it as a cloth in unreal engine 5 it's not that hard you can see it's just a plane i want to uh, add some vertices to it there there is a lot of method to, for doing that i want to use this loop cut and let's just create a lot of them and in here, I want to create another loop cut like this. A lot of them, okay? And now we have something that we can use it as cloth, right? It's just a plane, <laughs> okay? So now that we have this, let's just export it like this as FBX and don't change anything in here. I want to export it in desktop, simple cloth, okay? And export that FBX. And now that is exported, go to Unreal Engine. Let's just create a project in here, new project. I want to create this vehicle project because it's cool. So I did open up this template for a vehicle project. 
let's just run it to show you uh, it's just a template for creating a racing game or whatever that has car in it okay it doesn't matter it's just for showing you how it works okay so now in here let's just go to content drawer i want to add it in this developer in here wherever you want you can add it okay right click in wherever you want import and in desktop i did save it as simple cloth let's just open it and the important thing in here you should add it as a, a skeletal mesh okay just check this after that import okay it gives you some warning but don't mind that it doesn't matter for us no and you can see it create a, a skeletal mesh and it create a physics asset and it create an a skeleton as well okay so we have all of that let's just save them let's just open up this a skeletal mesh and you can see it's just a plane you can just create it in unreal engine 5 but i want to do it this way so it has a lot of vertices okay of course you could do that as well in unreal engine 5 whatever you have you can use it like this so for creating that cloth in here in this skeletal mesh editor okay in here right click on your object that you want it to be clothed okay and click on this create clothing data from a selection and in here don't change anything but be sure that it has a physic physics asset it's automatically added whenever you are importing something from a blender 3d max or whatever your 3d designer give you a character or whatever i will show you the character as well so in here just click on create it will create a simple cloth clothing number zero it add a clothing data to it okay so no right now nothing will happen why because we didn't give it any information about our cloth okay so for give it those information go and select this simple cloth clothing in here and you know it we just right click on it and create that okay and after that activate this cloth paint and you can see it give you this option in here that you can paint on this okay and what it means first of all there is a lot of option here important thing in here the radius of that you can see the radius of that and the most important one is this paint value okay and what it means wherever i click in here it put 100 value for those vertices so let's just click in here and you can see it change it to 100 so this white part is 100 and this colored one is zero value what it means it means this part that is white it will act like a cloth so let's know that we have this let's just deactivate cloth painting we paint something there so no let's just apply that right click on it and apply clothing and select this simple cloth clothing and now you can see this part that we put 100 value in there with that brush it's acting like a cloth right so again let's just go to active cloth paint and in here let's just paint out from here like this and i want to do it like this as well so let's just see so this side that is 100 is acting like cloth but these ones that is colored is a stationary one okay so let's just deactivate and you can see this side is acting like a cloth okay now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna add some material to it okay so let's just add some material you can see there there is a lot of material here but i want to choose this clothing material okay and you can see no it looks beautiful right so again let's just paint it and you can see i want to do it like this because because i want to add it to our car so our car has an scarf to it okay it will be beautiful so let's just paint a little bit more like this as a matter of fact i want to just make all of them 100 to be a cloth but this part okay this part i want to be a stationary and all of this part i want to be clothed so let's just deactivate that and you can see it like it act like a cloth and if you go to a skeleton tree in here you can select it and you can move it okay so let's just move it and you can see it works fine right it looks beautiful so now that we have this cloth let's just save it click on save or control s close it and now we have that cloth okay so now let's just add it to our car so our car has a scarf right so let's just go to content drawer and in here i want to filter everything and i want to have i want to find the blueprint class of our car and this is our car let's just run our game and you can see this is our car so in content drawer i just filter everything by blueprint class i have some video about tips and tricks on unreal engine 5 that i think you should watch it will, you will find a lot of cool stuff with that so no this is our car let's just double click on it and go to viewport in here this is our car right so no let's just add our scarf to it okay you remember that we add this simple cloth so let's just add it to here in content drawer let's just add it like this it's big <laughs> so i don't want that so let's just scale it down a little bit this way okay so i think that's good so let's just change its position change its position for z as 
as well and again let's just make it a little bit a smaller this way for example and let's just again change its position and put it there i don't know which part is closed but let's just run our game and uh, we should rotate it okay so let's just rotate it this way now let's just run our game again and now you can see the cloth right so right now we can see it clearly so let's just bring back this camera a little bit bring it back a little bit more and again run our game and no i think you can see it clearly right so you can see our car has a, a scarf to it okay and we, we could just have that in our character as well it's easy to do right let's just play with it a little bit more And you can see it looks beautiful and it's exactly like a cloth, okay? So let's just stop there, let's just open up this skeletal mesh. I want to paint it a little bit more. Select this simple cloth so you can see it clearly. And this side, I don't want to be like this. So let's just do it like this, okay? So just this part will be a stationary and all of that work as a cloth. You can see it clearly, right? So you can see it again and you can see this part is a stationary. Let's just save, close this and run our game again. And let's just run, let's just speed up a little bit. It's beautiful, right? So know that we know how we can change whatever we want to the cloth, okay? So let's just go back to here to our content example and let's just increase this camera speed a little bit. So now we can click on this one. This is a, again, a pawn class, okay? Like the card that we have, okay? So let's just find that, right click on it, browse to asset and you can see this is our pawn class. I will click on it and go to viewport in here and let's just click on it and you can see it has a, a skeletal mesh. Whenever your 3D designer give you a 3D model, it will have a skeletal mesh. It has some material to it and all of that, right? So now let's just find this skeletal mesh by clicking in here. And this is our skeletal mesh. Let's just double click on it. And now you remember this scarf that it has. You can click on it and again, go to active clothes, select on this echo cloth scarf. And now you can see some part of it is white and some part of it is black, okay? And this white part, it's, it will work like cloth but this black part won't do a lot of things right and you can see this this part that is white is 100 for example right and and in here if you want it uh, for example this part be a stationary and this part be something like clothes we can do that as well just change this radius so you can see uh, the radius is a lot right now so let's just change it to 10 for example and yeah it's okay and i want to change this paint value to zero first and i wanted this side to be a stationary okay no, this part is a stationary and this bottom part is acting like cloth. So let's just deactive. It takes a little bit time to compile it, but let's just wait. No, it is finished. Just save it. And after that, close this. Now we can just test it in this content example. Let's just run our game. Let's just go to that and no, you can see just the bottom part of this cloth is acting, this scarf is acting like cloth and you can see it clearly, it's beautiful, right? Whatever game you have, you can add this cloth. If your game is on mobile, you can decrease the amount of vertices and it will act cool in there as well. Now let's just talk about this property that at the beginning of this video I did talk about them. Let's just decrease this camera speed like this. All of this property, you can change them to reach the cloth that you want, right? So now I'm going to show you how you can find this property because I think it's not easy to find. I will show you. So you can see they give us some property values in here that you can use in your project, but you can play with it. So you reach whatever you want, right? For example, let's just open up um, this silk, okay? Like click on one of these and in here, right click on one of them and browse to asset so for example we want to change the property of this silk okay i'll click on it to open it in a skeletal mesh editor right and again in here if you go to active cloth paint and click on that cloth you can see they just for all of them draw 100 and just for these two parts they draw zero so it will be a stationary right and uh, we did talk about it so let's just go and find out all of those property for finding that in a skeletal mesh editor in here 
go to asset detail in here and let's just collapse everything so we can see clothing clearly okay i think it's always better to be everything collapsed and with that we find everything more easily right so open up this clothing and in here for finding finding those property expand this clothing property again go to cloth configs and in here click on this and expand this chaos cloth config and now you have all of those options so for example the mass okay so let's just change it to 0.5 and now the mass is 0.5 okay next the material property you can change the edge stiffness blending stiffness area stiffness and all of those property that is in here okay then density bend stiffness area stiffness tether stiffness and all of that right all of them are in here you just should a little bit maximize this so you can see all of them tether stiffness tether scale and collision property collision thickness friction coefficient environment property damping coefficient local damping coefficient and there is a lot of them okay so you should play with this stuff and you will reach what you want and again you can just use all of those value that they give you in here if you want a silk if you want to have rubber if you want a heavy letter okay so that was it guys for this video i hope you like this video please 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 if you want to help me hit that like button it's where it helps me a lot thank you very much for watching Bye.